Hello, good evening. How are you? Good evening, mister. Good evening, Gabriela, Maximo, Rosemary, Rina. Who else is here? Okay. Are you ready for today's class? Yes, right. Yes. With all the <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, we almost finished actually the classes. Uh, ya van a ver que de aquí para adelante van a sentir que ya se acabaron casi las clases. Así que solo vamos a traten de terminar la plataforma. If you have finished the platform, okay. If you have problems, I guess that's, I guess somebody uh, wrote in the WhatsApp group about a problem in the platform. So we are going to do that exercise right now. It says section is the midterm exam, the second. So we are going to do that right now. And if you have questions about the midterm uh, test or any exercise, let me know. Not to sure, just to sure. that you use the, you must to use the pun the points um for the the answer that you you, you have to type you must to use the points if you don't use them it, the answer is wrong and i got a little problem with that because i say no i i, I know that is correct but i i realized that what that was the mistake that you most to use the punto final i don't know how to say it in English. yeah the, the period right the period yes exactly that is the problem this is a problem exactly that sometimes you have to so you were the one who who was writing rena yes i write but just to a girl that not not at the group just to a girl a girl that Okay. I don't know who <laughs> is uh, um Inglés Corporate Ingrid Castro. Just, Ingrid Castro. Mm -hmm, just to her. Okay, perfect. So actually, uh, very good. If you ask them, actually, they should help you, right? Si ellos le preguntan, o si ustedes le preguntan a ellos, ellos deben de, de ayudarle. But let me check, just to check here. Just to make sure, let me open the platform. And I guess it's the second one. Ah, yes, one, this one. Okay, we are going to complete this one just in case you had any question, any problem. We are going to complete that, that one. This is the midterm exam, and it says rewriting sentences. What you have to do is just to rewrite the sentence, right? In passive. So, Alexi uh, George Lucas. Sorry, just uh, one Star question. Wars. Yes. Sorry. Uh, we have uh, until midnight to finish the midterm exam uh, because my work, I don't have time to do it. So, I have that question. Yes, we have until midnight. We have today until midnight. Tenemos hasta la medianoche para terminar la sección 3 y el midterm test. Exactly. Thank you, teacher. Okay, no problem. It says George Lucas directed the Star Wars movies. The Star Wars movies were directed by George Lucas, right? Tim Berners Lee developed the World Wide Web. The World Wide Web was developed by Tim Berners Lee, right? Next one, Ian Fleming wrote the James Bond novels. The James Bond novels were written by Ian Fleming. Gustave Eiffel designed the Eiffel Tower in Paris. The Eiffel Tower in Paris was designed by Gustave Eiffel. And the third one, instruction write the sentences. Again, right? Comedies are a type of movie that usually make people laugh. Com comedies are a type of movie that usually make people laugh. Two and a Half Men is a popular TV show. It stars Charlie Sheen. And let's see... Two and a Half Men is a popular TV show. Oh, yeah, that stars Charlie Sheen, right? And Charlize Theron is an actress. She won an Oscar for her performance in Monster. Charlize Theron is an actress who won an Oscar for her performance in Monster. 
Let's see if it is correct. Yes, this one's, este es el problema, right? Que a veces no ponen el, no se pone el punto. Let me see here. Were directed by George Lucas. Were directed by George Lucas. Let's see. Yeah, this D. one. Atisha. Sorry? D? D. D, right. Yes, exactly. Let's see. The Star Wars movies. The World War Web, right? The World War Web. Let's see. Let's see. Very good. Very good. Let's see. Yes, correct. The, right? The Star Wars. Very good. The Star Wars, the Star Wars movies were directed by George Lucas and the World Wide Web was developed by Tim Berners-Lee. That was the problem, the article. So you see one word, probably the whole sentence is correct, but one word is missing, right? So it won't take it like that. Very good, perfect. So that will be the problem in some of the exercises. But if you have any any problem with that, just let me know and we will be able to check to check it later. Okay, do you have any other question about the the platform? No more questions? Okay. So we are going to begin with well, actually we are going to finish with this topic today about the movies, uh, we were talking about relative clauses, what is a clause. So we are going to finish with this a little uh, review about a clause. It says a clause is a part of a sentence that includes at least one subject and one verb. Philippa got married last week, right? Relative clauses, relative clauses uh, as you already know, we have defining relative clauses and, and non-defining, right? Refining relative clauses provide essential information about the antecedent that impacts the meaning of the sentence. I have, I have a friend whose mom is a doctor. This is the student who won the academic scholarship. Um, en pocas palabras, las defining relative clauses son oraciones o cláusulas o oraciones dependientes que son necesarias para eh, la, la oración completa. Son necesarias, no son información extra. Se necesitan para entender el mensaje. Y las non-defining relative clauses are non-essential additional information. Removing these clauses will not affect the meaning of the sentence. Ahí dice que son, que no son esenciales, son información adicional y al quitarlas no cambia el significado de la oración. So, es extra, right? Extra information. Examples. My mom, who has been baking for years, made us cupcakes. And as you can see, my mom, there is a comma after my mom, right? Who has been baking for years, comma, made us cupcakes. So, if they are between commas, it means that they are non-defining relative, relative clauses. Si están entre comas, son non-defining relative clauses. Another example is the flower which sits on the window pane, it's starting to bloom again. So which sits on the window pane is not uh, important, it's not essential, right? Essential information. And we have here, I will make it a little bit bigger. The band was given a list at performance days that have sold out. That have sold out is a defining clause. People who like history enjoy going to the Smithsonian Museums. Uh, that is another defining clause. And non-defining clauses, the movie, comma, which was released last night, is receiving great reviews. So that is a non-defining because it's between comma, is uh, extra information. 
and my brother, whose car I'm driving, visited a few colleges last week. That is also extra information. Now, um, this is just a review, right? It says we use who or that for people and we use which or that for things. And you already know that, right? You don't have questions about that. So what we're going to do is just this exercise. It says, combine the sentences using relative pronouns, then compare with a partner. So we are going to uh, combine them using uh, pronouns, right? relative pronouns. Let's see the first one. Jennifer Hudson is a singer. She's acted in several films. Let's see, Maximo, can you combine the first sentence, please? Jennifer Hudson is a singer. Who? Mm -hmm. Who act in several films. Very good. Jennifer Hudson is a singer who acted in several films. Let's see the next one. The Phantom of the Opera is based on a French novel. It was published in 1911. Gabriela, can you combine number two, please? Um, the, fan A ver. the Phantom of the Opera that was published in 1911 is based on a French novel. Very good, perfect. The Phantom of the Opera that was published in 1911 was or is based on a French novel. Perfect. Rosemary, number three, can you combine uh, the number three, please? Spider Man and Transformers are successful franchises. Mm -hmm. who were adapted from comic books. In this case, uh, Spider-Man and Transformer, Transformers are successful franchises. Nice. Franchises. Franchises are, um, are, are people or are things, franquicias. Franchises. Things. Things. Things, right, things, so. How do you pronounce? <laughs> Yeah. Franchises, it's a franchise. Franchise. Uh-huh. Yeah, they right, but in this case, we have to read carefully. And it says successful franchises. So franchises. franchises are things. So which one are we going to use? Franchise. Oh, okay. Which and that. Which or that, right? Spider-Man and Transformers are successful franchises that or which were adapted from comic books. Very good. Let's see, one, two, three. Rina, can you combine four, please? Number four. Michael Keaton is a famous Hollywood actor who began his career as a cameraman. Yes, a cameraman. A cameraman. Yes, Michael Keaton is a famous Hollywood actor who began his career as a cameraman. Perfect. Cameraman. Claudia Chamorro, number five, please. Yes, yes, uh, Claudia. Do you have issues with your microphone? Can you hear me? Yes, probably you have issues with the or internet, pro probably, right? We don't know. Okay, Claudia, no worries. I drive me. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Number five. All 
Ah, okay. Sonia, number five, please. Sonia Araceli, combine number five. Dakota Fanning mm -hmm. is an actress mm -hmm. who made her first movie when she was only seven years old. Exactly. Dakota Fanning is an actress who made her first movie when she was only seven years old. Perfect. Let's see again, Maximo, number six. Maximo, are you there? No? Okay, let's go with Rosemary. Rosemary, number six. Es... No sé cómo se pronuncia el nombre. We fit. We fit is a video game. It's, excuse me. Mm -hmm. A video game. Which help people to get more exercise. Very good. If it is a video game, which helps people to get more exercise. And the last one, uh, Rina. Stephanie Mayer, Mayer mm -hmm. is an American writer mm -hmm. who wrote the Twilight series. Very good. Stephanie Mayer is an American writer who wrote the Twilight series. Right. Very good, perfect. So as you can see, I think that everybody is clear with these kind of exercises and pronouns, right? And this is the same, uh, the same exercise, so no problem. Now we are going to have also a listening. No, actually we, we also, uh, we already did this. So we are going to, are you able to read this, the letter or is, or is it too small for you? Es muy pequeña la, la letra para leerla para ustedes, porque no sé qué dispositivo están usando. It's okay. It's, it's okay. Okay. So, okay. Uh, okay. Maximo will begin. Can you read? Par, uh, let me let me make it bigger. Lo voy a hacer un poquito más grande. Let me see here. Maximo will begin and then Rina will continue because I guess that you are able to see them. Solo vamos a leer un poco. Okay. Okay, I will share it right now. Just one moment, please. I make it a little bit bigger. Okay. So, Maximo, uh, read the first paragraph, please. There was a time when no one knew the name Harry Potter. Now the adventure of this extraordinary student at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry are read in over 45 languages, including Russian, Thai, and even ancient Greek. No one can explain the Harry Potter phenomenon, not even J.K. Rowling, his creator. Very good. Perfect. Rina, uh, continue with number two, please. Mm -hmm. Rina, are you there? Rina Sanchez? Yes, teacher, sorry, I was <laughs> Okay, J.K. Rowling was born in England in 19... No, sorry. 65, yes. 1965. Uh -huh. From a young age, she knew she wanted to be a writer. When she was six, she wrote her first story, 
about a rabbit that gets sick that get sick at school. She used she she used to, to make to make up stories to tell her friends. Very good. Perfect. Another volunteer, alguien más? Okay, three, Rose. Right? Yes, number three, Rosemary, please. I'm Gabriela. Oh, Gabriela. Okay, Gabriela, and then Rosemary. Okay, I thought that you rose the hand. Okay, <laughs> Gabriela, go ahead. And then Rosemary, number four. After graduating from college, she worked as a secretary, but she didn't give up her dream. She spent her lunch hours writing stories, mainly for adults. Then in 1990, on a train trip to London, she got the idea for the boy wizard. She says he just appeared in her head. She soon created a whole cast of unique characters to help Harry battle the force of darkness. Very good. Now, Rosemary, number four, please. Rosemary. She kept working on the study while she was teaching English with Portugal, where she married, had her first child, and divorced her a year later. When she returned to England, she brought back a suitcase of her reported studies. No se escucha, teacher. Okay, yes, very good. Perfect, Rosemary, sorry. Good evening, Jose Moises. Um, another person, please. Otro voluntario para leer el número cinco. Paragraph five. Jeffrey, okay, go ahead, Jeffrey. Uh, the five, right? Yes, number five. Okay, after returning home, she was broke and living in a small cramped apartment. Mm -hmm. uh, she continued writing and in 1995 finished the first book in the series, Harry Potter and the Scorer Stone. I don't know so, how it says. Yeah, Sorcerer. Sorcerer Stone. It was published in 1997 and became an unexpected bestseller. Okay, perfect, Jeffrey. Very good. And the last one, who wants to read the last one? Number six. Volunteers? Sonia, okay. Sonia, number six, please. Rowling's life has changed dramatically. She has uh, become internationally famous and now earns around 40 millions a year. She married had a second child and currently lives in Scotland. Very good, perfect. Currently lives in Scotland, perfect. Uh, very good. Now we have some questions about this lecture, this reading. It says, have you heard of Harry Potter? Have you heard of Harry Potter? Do you know what that is? No, right? Of course. Of course, right? Yes, it's really popular, right? Very good. What else do you know about the author of the books? Do you know something about the author? Because they were talking about how she created the books, like that she was married and then she got divorced and she was uh, living in a really small apartment and then she continued writing the story. Do you know something else about J.K. Rowling? No, teacher. Most of no. the world only know her about the books of Harry Potter, but she has others that are really good, like Ika Book. It's for kids, but it is a good story too. Oh, very good. So she has more books, right? The Ika Book. Okay, then Harry Potter. Very good. I didn't know that. Very good. And the other question is, have you ever watched any of the films? Yes. I yes, right. You watch all of the movies. Okay, I yes. the marathon on TNT. TNT marathon. Okay, yes. Actually, a funny a funny thing is that uh, they are books, right? And I have all of the books, but I haven't 
read them because I watch the movies. So I have the books, but I haven't uh, haven't read any of them. So probably I have the to read them. The books are better, teacher. You have the to books? read. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes, I have the. Better. Yes, they, they they told me that you have to read them. They're different, right? Uh, but yes, uh, actually, I will I will try because there are many many books and I I don't have a lot of time right now, but yeah, I will try to read them. Perfect. Thank you for the advice. And now, yes, Jeffrey, go ahead. Perdón, tengo una duda. En esta semana, ¿qué secciones tienen que estar completas? Section three and the midterm. Ah, okay, gracias. Okay, yes. Actually, we were doing a, an exercise from the midterm. So today you have to finish section three and the midterm test. And I, next week, uh huh. Uh, sorry, I have a question exactly with that sentence mm -hmm. with the Star Wars and the James Bond novels. I oh. don't know why, but every time it's wrong for me. And yeah, actually, for me, was was wrong also. It says George Lucas directed the Star Wars movie. The correct one is the Star Wars movies were directed by George Lucas, period. You have to enter the period. Okay. And with and the James Bond? James Bond. There, you have to write there, right? The James Bond novels were written by Ian Fleming, period. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, no problem. So if you have any question, any problem like that, just let me know and I will try to check, right? So, okay, we will continue. We are going to finish now with movies and everything. We are going to put into practice everything we know. And at the end, I will give you a little tip of pronunciation and also another tip for you to learn more English if you want to practice it because I, I, I tried today and I guess it worked. So uh, let's see here. First, I will talk about pronunciation because we just read, right? Uh, there are many words in this uh, reading that are very difficult to pronounce right for example secretary uh sorcerer right um what else characters wizard uh lives right she lives in scotland a phenomenon but also something that we use in english and that we i have heard and actually we have this problem because we don't have this problem in spanish in español no tenemos este problema is the pronunciation, right? A pronunciation with um, regular verbs. Do you know what regular verbs are? ¿Cuáles son los verbos regulares? ¿Se acuerdan? Do you know that? What are regular verbs? Uh, the verbs that in past end with ed. Exactly. Verbs in past ending in ed. Those are the verbs ending in past and ed, right? But the pronunciation, actually remembering is really easy, but pronunciation, it's difficult. That's what I've noticed, pronunciation. So we are going to practice right now the pronunciation of these verbs. This will be just a tip for you to, to practice, right? If you want to practice at home, or if you want to check, right, investigate more about this kind of pronunciation. They have three different pronunciations, right? Tienen tres pronunciaciones. Are you able to see here? Yes. Okay, so we are going to start here this information. Let me see here. Okay, it's there. So the simple pass, let me see. If you want to, if you want to participate also. Okay. I will share here uh, the link 
if you want to participate because I guess that there there is like an exercise. Ahí en el chat está el link y el código para ingresar es el 516-056-516. Just in case that you want to join, right? Okay, Jeffrey, thank you. And these are the simple paths, right? Okay, thank you, Rina. It says, we use simple paths to describe actions that started in the past and finished in the past too. Thank you, Melissa and Claudia. Thank you, Sonia. And Rosemary. Okay. So we are going to start. The first is a presentation, I guess. So it says simple pass with verb to be. It gives past information about a person, place, animal, or thing, right? We never use another verb with it. Example, I was a teacher. I wasn't a teacher, right? That is simple pass, right? My mom was in a beautiful place last night. They were born in Italy. They weren't in a party yesterday. You were a great chef, etc. right? And we know that was and wasn't is for I, she, he, and were and weren't is for you, they, we, you. Perfect. And uh, we use the past to describe habits, routines, usually used in time expressions, like I love pop music when I was a child. They had a party last night. She worked very hard when they were Orch. young. Exactly. So their uh, rules are for regular sounds. The T sound, it's when they end in egg, X, C, H, S, H, P, K, S, right? In those sounds. For example, watch. We don't say watch it or watch it, right? It's watched. Exactly. Watched. Wrap, wrap is envolver, right? Wrap. So uh, we don't say wrap it or wrap it, you know, it's wrapped, wrapped. Kiss, you see kiss and with that sound, kiss. so it's kissed, right? Kissed. Kissed. Cook, the pass of cook is cooked, right? Cooked. So it's tea. When, when people uh, talk normally, we notice it but it's really small the sound is we we barely notice it casi no lo notamos cuando alguien habla así rápido verdad pero if we are reading uh, and we talk slowly we are going to check that that is the first sounds right watched wrapped kissed cooked the next one let's see the next one so eat right Normally, these are uh, the ones ending in T or D sounds. Dedicated, decided, right? Translated, provided. All of those are it, right? Dedicated, decided, provided. And there are other, the, the last sound, el último sonido, is the one with D, right? So, um, the, these are sounds like Y, B, M, N, L. Son los que vibran y por eso suenan de esta manera, vibran en nuestra garganta, right? So, for example, call, right? Llamar, cold, is a, a little D at the end, cold. Cool. Studied, right? Studied. Studied. Climbed, climbed, returned, returned. And we have spelling rules, right? If, if it ends in Y, we add I-E-D, right? Cry, cried, try, tried. And all of the verbs that end in Y before a consonant change it, change it. In wrapped, consonant vowel, consonant sounds double, so we'll ask the consonant wrapped, right? So those are spelling rules. And these are some time expressions, right, that we use with the past, last night, the weekend, uh, last year, last month, etc. right? <laughs> I think that we have a test right now. It says, choose the correct sound for the verb study. 
study. What is the correct sound? Eat, D, or T. Study. What is the correct one? Maybe D. Let's see. Okay, time's up. Very good, Sonia. Perfect. So it's with D, right? D, right? Studied. Studied. Next one, let's see. We are going to do some of them. Solo vamos a hacer algunas. Choose the correct sound for the verb dance. Dance. And we have T, D, and E, the three sounds, right? Okay, let's see. It's the T, right? Danced. We danced. You see, dance. It, the sound is s danced. That's the reason why it's T, right? Danced. Danced. No, danced. No, right? Danced. We don't say we danced. We danced. No, right? Perfect. Next one. Choose the correct sound for the verb dictate. How do you say dictate in past? Dictate, dictate, or dictated? Dictated. Okay, let's see. Very good, dictated, right, dictated, perfect. That is the correct one. And we are going to see uh, two more. Choose the correct sound for the verb smell. Smell, oler, right? Is smelt, smell it, or smelled? Smelled. Let's see. Exactly, smelled with D, right? Smelled. Perfect. Two more. Choose the correct sound for the verb kiss. Kissed, kissed, or kissed. 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 Let's see. Okay, very good, Sonia, Rosemary, Jeffrey, and Melissa, and Gabriela also, very good. So, um, yes, actually it was kissed, right, kissed. So those are the three sounds, right? Now you have to remember that we have three sounds, kissed, kissed, or kissed, right? Which one is the, 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 the correct one? And it depends on how it ends, dependiendo de que con que sonido termine, ¿verdad? Uh, if you don't know the rule, try to uh, investigate or, or try to check the, the sounds, right? The sounds, uh, the sound of uh, the, these uh, three verbs and try to check a list or anything that may help you to understand this better, right? Because actually it's just the sound. Por ejemplo, en español, en clase, nosotros cuando yo estaba en la universidad nos decían que si vibraba en nuestra garganta, 
era terminaba con de, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, played o um, another one, uh, declared, right? Declared. O sea, pero si no sonaba, era con una T, ¿verdad? Una T. So kissed. Al final, kiss, el sonido no vibra en la garganta, entonces es kissed, right? Y las que terminan con T y D, como dictated o translated, son las que terminan con I, con ED, right? Translated o divided, right? So those would be the three sounds. Be careful with that, okay? Traten de practicarlas si quieren tener una mejor pronunciación. So let's finish with this right now. Let me see if I can finish it here. And, and let me see. I guess that you're still connected. We're still seeing here this. So, I, th I think I'm going to close it or because I didn't know how to finish it right now. But I think that I, I think it, I have it here. End session here. Mm -hmm. Okay, Sonia was the faster. Oh, the fastest, right? Sonia was the fastest. La más rápida en contestar fue Sonia. Very good. Rosemary, Jeffrey, Melissa, Gabriela, Rina, and Claudia. Very good. I can play with the cell phone, please. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Very good. No problem. Okay. Perfect. Now, to finish this topic, let me see here. Yes, we just have this conversation. Actually, it's not a conversation. I just want you to talk between you. Solo quiero que hablen entre ustedes y contesten estas preguntas. I will share these questions right now in the group, on the WhatsApp group. Okay, I'll just share it in the WhatsApp group for Intermediate 3. Uh, these questions, the one that you are seeing here, and I want you just to uh, speak like just for 10 minutes. Por 10 minutos vamos a hablar y vamos a tratar de contestar estas, estas preguntas. Let's try to answer these questions. For example, I will join, let's say, right, that I join Gabriela and Rina, right? And they will try to get this information. Let's see. Uh, what is the name of a TV movie that is, that reminds you of someone in your family or uh, that has beautiful eye or what is the name of the show or movie that made you feel sad or that made you laugh, that is care for you? So you need to get the information from your classmate. Tienen que obtener la información uh, de su compañero de clase, okay? So we have only 10 questions. And that's what we have to ask, okay? I will give you 10 minutes and then we are going to come back, okay? Ya tienen las preguntas en el grupo de WhatsApp, así que ahí las pueden ver. Let's see here. We are one, two, three, nine. Okay, so we are going to have... Let's see. Four. Ok, yes, correct. Entonces van a estar dos en cada sala. Um, I will give you uh, like five to seven minutes and just try to answer the questions, ok?
Go ahead, you can join right now. Try to join right now. Hello, Jose Moises, you're not able to use your microphone? Can you use your microphone, Jose Moises? Okay, I guess you can. Okay, I will move Sonia to another room, okay? Let's wait here, okay? No problem. the when i see the the movie up mm -hmm. or wow i was see i remember i remember the, the movie the there up. is a man who has uh balloons aha uh -huh, it's correct it's correct okay. i i remember i I, re I remembered my wife oh you wife mm -hmm. okay okay you wife and you um i i remember of uh, i got remembers of my sister when i see the movie uh the spider-man movie the amazing spider-man because the actress is red hair uh -huh, and okay. they also have the red hair and is in is uh he has uh she has a beautiful eyes so she reminds me of my sister in the but i don't remember her name i think it's emma stone i think uh-huh in the yeah. first and second movie the second one. Ah, uh, the second one. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think it's Emma Stone. Mm -hmm. uh, the the name of the actress and the movie is Spider Man. Well, the movie calls the Amazing Spider Man. Okay. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, the okay. second. The second question. Uh huh. Um, that has beautiful eyes. I remember some actor in that is uh, that his name. That had beautiful eyes. Anthony, Anthony uh, Hopkins. Anthony and Hopkins. Yes. Yeah. Anthony Hopkins. Yes. Hello. Hola, yes. perdón. Estaba revisando las preguntas y la primera, según entiendo yo, es qué es el nombre de una Televisión o, o inicio de película. Yeah, what is the name of a TV or movie star? Yeah, star, sorry. It is a star. Movie star. Mm. Ah, okay. Uh, the next one, that reminds you of someone in your family. 
it means the movie reminds me someone in your family, like a brother or like a mother. I don't know. Yeah, for example, if I ask Jeffrey, right? Jeffrey, what is the name of a TV or movie star that, re that reminds you of someone in your family or a friend? Ah, okay. Uh, like the, uh, Trolls, like, for example. Yeah, alguien, alguien, alguna uh, estrella famosa, algún actor famoso que le recuerde a alguien de su familia o algún amigo that they are similar. And if you don't have anybody, no, I don't, I don't have anybody. Oh, okay. And next one, right? What is the name of a TV or movie star that has beautiful eyes for you? Ah, for okay. You, every question was a compliment of the first sentence. Exactly. Every every question. So someone, an, an actor, an actress that has beautiful eyes an actor or an actress who does things to help society. And the last five are about uh, movies, right? Like, what is the name of a TV show or movie that made you feel sad, that made you laugh a lot, right? You, you have to ask each other these questions. Ah, okay, perfect. Okay, go ahead then. Thanks. Where was Mari? Hello, Jeffrey. Uh... Si entendí, supongo que es como que usted me responda que, que actor, actriz, ejemplo, de una película le recuerde a alguien de su familia. Exactly. Solo mm. tenemos que tener la respuesta. Yes. Uh, for me, in the first questions, I don't have anybody. Yeah. And you? Um, Jennifer Aniston. She's oh. like, I don't know, your sister. Perdón. ¿Quién me dijo usted, Jeff? Uh, I don't have anybody. No tengo a nadie. Oh. <laughs> anybody oh. reminds me. With the second question. Uh, one movie star that has beautiful eyes, maybe. Ah, uh, bueno, no veo mucho la farándula, la verdad. Es que yo estoy igual. Yo de hecho ni veo mucha película. Que sí, sí, ni yo. No, no soy. Bo... Bueno, de hecho no me gusta ver mucha película. Por okay. ejemplo. No, 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 no. Yeah, if you don't have anybody, <laughs> I don't have anybody, and that's okay. No problem. Continue with the next one, right? No problem. Okay. Okay. For example, in the second for me, maybe Brad Pitt. I don't know. Blue eyes. Uh, if you don't have anybody, pues. Well, next one. Uh, who does things to help? Mi lado. Quédate a mi lado. I don't know what's the name in Spain. Stay behind me, maybe. Maybe. Uh -huh. Maybe. And you? Pinocchio, the new with in uh, the movie or in Netflix. I really what's the name? Right, Pinocchio, la de Pinocho, pero no de Disney. Ah, oh, oh uh, yeah, I remember Pinocchio. Uh huh. Yes. Oh, okay. Pinocchio. And uh, the other one. What's the name of a TV show or a movie that makes you laugh aloud? Uh, it's a Mexican movie called Casate, Casa, Casese Quien Pueda. I always laugh with that movie. And for me, it's Shrek. And what's the name of a TV show or movie that which scare you? Maybe Silent Hill, the first one. Silent Hill, the first one. And for me, The Conjuro. In English is the conjuring, the conjuring. Okay. Yeah. And number nine, uh, what is the name of 
a TV show or movie which had great music? Hmm. Great music. Uh -huh. Maybe Mamma Mia? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's really great. And for me, it's fall all over, fall all the stars, something like that. Fall. Fall of the stars. Or fall sí. all the stars. Oh. Is the, the movie the, uh, that is about cancer fall over the star? Um, ay, detrás de una estrella, no. Let me see. Okay, los dos tienen cancer. Y yeah, that one. Él. Sí, sí. I don't remember. I don't remember any in Spanish the name. Bajo las estrellas. Ah, sí, bajo las estrellas. Bajo, las... The stars. bajo la misma estrella. Bajo sea, misma. Es, es en español y en inglés. I don't know. Let me see. In English is the fault in our stars. The fault in our sí. stars. Sí. In no. our stars. And the last one, the number 10, what's the name of a TV show or a movie that was about a ridiculous story? Hmm. It was a ridiculous story. Okay, uh, uh, we are about to come back. Sonia and Jose Marie says probably we're not able to participate. Sorry for you. But we are about to uh, come back. Okay, no problem. Let's see here. Okay, welcome back. Did you complete the questions? Completaron todo? No. Hello, I'm welcome sorry. back. I'm sorry, teacher. I have a problem with the internet. Yeah, no problem. So, <laughs> I understand there are some problems with the internet always. Uh, but the rest was able to answer the questions. Los demás si pudieron contestar. Jeffrey, were you able to talk to your partner, to your to, to your classmate? Some, not all. Not all of them, some of them. Not yeah, of them. I was listening to you and, and actually, yes, it was, some of you like, uh, uh, you don't have an answer, right, for all of the, all of the uh, questions. Very good. Uh, welcome back, Rina and Maximo. Did you have any interesting conversation with these questions? Did you find something funny or something like that? Yes. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, what was a, 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 an answer that surprised you? ¿Cuál fue alguna respuesta que les pareciera curiosa? Do you have any? Like a funny answer when you were talking and when you, you were answering the, the questions? Or it was pretty normal, all of them? Like any sad movie or any funny movie that make you laugh? That was kind of weird for you? No. No. Well, I found that Gabriela likes or make her cry a Pinocchio of Guillermo del Toro. So I think it's a really, really good movie too. I saw it 
the last month. No, on December. It's a really, really good movie. Yes, it's totally different, right, from yes. the story. Yes, and, it, and it's a animated movie with, like, a, you you could think that it's for children, but now this, I think it, it is for all, all of growing people. Yes, it's for all ages. It's really interesting. Uh, these questions were just for you to talk and and speak to each other just to finish this topic because on Monday we are going to start another topic. And also I will share with you um, something that I tried today, Language Reactor. This was like an extension for Google Chrome. I guess that you are able just to use it in, in your computer. And I will send you the, the link to know how to use it. This is in case that you want to check the um the dialogues of videos in YouTube or in Netflix. If you watch Netflix in your computer, this will be very useful for you to check. I didn't know different uh, words. And the extension is called Language Reactor. If you want to install it, I guess that is safe. I guess, right? If you want to check it, it is good for you to learn English, right? Not only with subtitles, but you will be able to check here and repeat it and also check specific words. So we are going to finish right now with the class because it's nine o'clock already. And I hope you have a very good weekend and I will see you on Monday, okay? See you Monday, t-shirt. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a nice evening. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.